Yo, what's up guys? It's Nash here coming at you with a brand new video and today I got something super special for you guys. Today we're actually going over some websites that you guys submitted. Actually just one on the, uh, this video. I might do some more um, from some other <clears throat> websites. But we're going over your guys' websites live in person. Let's get started. Alright, so the first one that we're going to do today is called Breezy Sales Co. Now, I haven't taken a look at this at all so this is going to be all like first impressions. Uh, so yeah, let's just jump into it. So first thing I see, this is a dope logo. Love love the logo. Kind of getting the whole kind of like beach surf vibe, which I also get from this image, which is awesome. Love it. Um, also, I see this today, only free standard shipping on orders over $30. That's great for increasing your average order value. So not sure if you've started promoting this website or not, but um, you know that's great for sort of increasing your average order value. Looks like you have everything organized very... Uh, you know very well here. You also got the track your order status, which is great because it's gonna you know decrease the amount of inquiries you get. Hopefully, I mean you'll still get some, but yeah, so that's good. Uh, Breezy Sales Company new products coming every week. Okay, so here I would probably add something, um, you know, because this is this is a big image that you have here, and there's a lot of space, so you want to take advantage of it as much as possible. So something that I might do here is actually put a button to like shop now. Um, or I might even put um, some sort of like coupon code or something like that here, uh, just because you want to take advantage of the space. And this is like the first thing that people see when they jump on your website, right? So um, yeah, I might just put something there just to sort of increase. Okay, then we got our collections list. Looks like we got glasses, hats, tapestries, bracelets. Cool. Then free plus shipping. Um, usually I don't like putting free plus shipping deals. I might put something like. Uh, like what I do personally with my website is I do like uh, featured on Instagram. Uh, it just gives it more of like a perceived value than like free plus shipping deals. Um, just like, you know, minor thing that you might want to switch up or test out. And we got, um, I mean, this is cool. Uh, not, ne not necessary. Maybe what you might want to do here is put like uh, some sort of subscribe thing. Say like, you know, subscribe to get 25% off your first order. Or what you could do, let's see if you have it. Um, okay, no. But what you could do is you could actually do like an exit intent um, pop-up, which if you download the app Privy, you can actually do like an exit intent pop-up, um, which allows people to subscribe to your list um, and maybe give them like 20, 25% off just to subscribe to your list. Um, so that's something that you could do because then you can remarket to them later. Um, see, and then we got store bestsellers. Okay, so this is a great app. This is, uh, I'm assuming, the Beaketing app. Um, it's great. I use it all the time. Um, I wouldn't use it on the home page. I, I usually use it on the cart page and on the product page itself. Um, I just think it looks a little bit messy on the home page, but you know that's fine. Just personal preference. Um, but if you do choose to use it on the on the home page, I would only use like one of them um, as opposed to both of these. So just a uh, you know kind of nitpicky. But let's go ahead and check out the Instagram because I always like looking at Instagram. I think it uh, you know tells a lot about a website. So check it out. Oh, dope. It looks like it's from, yeah, inspired by Hawaii. So if you guys don't know, I'm actually from Hawaii. I live in, or not from, but I live in Hawaii currently. Uh, so this is kind of cool. This is a, uh, this is kind of uh, close to my heart. And also, if you haven't already checked it out, I take tons of dope Hawaii photos uh, at Nash Hagen. You can check it out. So follow these guys and uh, my personal account. I'll leave it in uh, the description below. You can check it out. Uh, but yeah, it looks like you have, uh, so guys, this is a great example of a good quality brand in Instagram. As you can see, they have tons of like lifestyle photos here. Um, and they get good engagement. Look at that, 780, 453, or 35, 784. So that's good engagement. Um, what I would do if I were you, and you might already be doing this, not sure, um, but just like every once in a while, post a, a real solid like product photo. It's like maybe every four or five photos. Um, and that'll you know allow people to maybe go to your website and, and do that. So let's check out what they're actually promoting here. I'm going to go to this page, which is uh, you know kind of their featured page. So we got free plus shipping. Okay, so it looks like we got an octopus ring and a pineapple bracelet. So being from Hawaii, I know that pineapples are huge. Um, they're kind of a symbol of hospitality, friendship, like all this kind of different stuff. So this could be a very good thing to advertise to maybe like uh, Hawaii pages or something like that, um, which is cool. Okay, but it looks like you only have two products here, which um, if I were you, I'd probably add a few more just to, just to have. And maybe what I would do, even instead of creating like a free plus shipping uh, option or a free plus shipping page, is I would create, uh, like I said before, like a featured on Instagram. Okay, so you would have, um, 
like literally things that are that are you know featured on Instagram, and all you have to do is like tag them Instagram, and you can uh, you know sort everything in a collection by that. But what I would do is just put all these different like featured products, things that you think will sell together, so that they can actually um, you know see a bunch um, a bunch more products than just two. Because coming to your website as a brand new customer, and I see this, it's nowhere near as impressive as if I were to see like you know this. Um, I'm not saying send them to your homepage, but I'm just saying like you're going to want to keep your uh, or you know have multiple products just to uh, you know keep them more engaged, and obviously have the product that you're promoting at that specific time in like the first or second slot just to you know so it's visible. Um, okay, so let's just see uh, for example this one. Let's let's check out what we got. Okay, so cute pineapple bracelet. We got um, this photo. It's a little bit low quality. Might want to find a better quality photo if possible. Um, okay, this is a solid quality photo. If you could get some lifestyle photos that fit with the vibe, fit with your Instagram vibe here, I mean, that would be ideal. Um, I'm not saying that you can't use this, but it, it might be a little bit better, help increase inversions just a little bit. Um, okay, so let's see, pineapple bracelet, we got rose gold, silver plated, okay, that's fine. Um, hurry up sale ends in, okay, so you have like sale ends in two days here, right? Um, to me, if I'm a customer and I see this, I don't think that uh, you know two days is not gonna make me want to buy right now. So if I were you, I would change this to maybe like I don't know, like forty-seven minutes, thirty-seven minutes, just like random numbers. But I would make it less than an hour to make people really seem like the uh, you know that it's there or that they have to buy now because the sale is gonna end now, kind of thing, right? Okay, then we got sixteen items left in stock. Um, so this is something you're really gonna want to reinforce in your ad copy. In your ad copy, you might say something like, there's only 50 items left, so then when somebody comes to the actual website, they see that there's only 16, they're like, whoa, these are going fast, people are buying them up, um, you know, that kind of thing, okay? Good that you have this secure checkout badge. Uh, let's see, free plus shipping, giving this cute pineapple bracelet in appreciation to you. Okay, so I would work on your, um, your product description here a little bit. I would, if I were you, I would explain a little bit about how the pineapple, or like what the pineapple actually means. Um, you know, so it's a symbol of hospitality, friendship, uh, you know, family, all this kind of different stuff. I'd explain it a little bit, maybe one to two sentences, and then I'd say something about like today only. We're offering it for or until maybe until the timer hits zero. Okay, so say it's at 37 minutes. When the timer hits zero, uh, you know, we're offering this for uh, absolutely free. Just pay shipping. Um, you know, click the buy button now, or click the add to cart. Okay, this is buy, but this is add to cart, so you might want to just switch up the language. Um, so click the add to cart button now to get yours, or something like that. You know, just lengthen it out. People like to read product descriptions. They like to read more about what stuff is about. So, you know, you might just want to uh, work on this a little bit. And um, I actually have a video about the product descriptions that you can check out if you'd like um, that will go more in depth into that, okay? And we have these buttons, and that's fine. Um, if I were you, I would get some social proof. So if you don't already have people buying these, what you can do is actually download the app uh, Ollie Reviews from you know the Shopify App Store. I think it costs maybe like nine dollars, something something like that. It's no more than ten dollars, okay? Um, and what you can do is actually add reviews from AliExpress for this item itself. So maybe add like you know six reviews, and just it'll put them down here. Um, and that will just give you more social proof to be able to, um, you know, so to show that people are actually buying this product, right? Um, this is good. People who bought this also bought this. Okay, so you have a bunch of recommended products. That's good. Um, I would ditch this one um, just because, I, I don't know, I think you just need one of them. Two of them is kind of repetitive. Okay, and we got that. That's good. All right, let's look up here, just check out what we got. Um, okay, we already looked at that. Whoops. Footwear. Okay, it doesn't look like we have any footwear. Hats. Doesn't look like hats. Leggings. Whoops. What the heck? Leggings. Okay, we got a few leggings here. Okay, so I wouldn't put, you know, if you have footwear and hats, then great, put it in there. But if you don't have that stuff, then, you know, I wouldn't put it on, on the menu bar because then people are going to see it and they're going to be like, what? There's no hats? What is this, you know? Um, let's see, sunglasses, you got one pair of sunglasses, so I'd maybe add a few tapestries, got a few of those, that's good. Um, contact, okay, 
pretty basic, that's fine. All right, so um, the other thing that I would say that you're missing on this website is you need to have uh, terms of service, return, uh, return policy, shipping policy, um, privacy policy, I think that's it. Um, but you can literally just put this down here on the, on the footer bar and if you just go to Shopify settings, uh, I can't remember exactly where it is, it's in one of the settings, you can actually generate like sample, um, you know, privacy policy, terms of service, all that kind of different stuff and literally just copy and page, paste it into a page and uh, you know, just throw it down here. That'll just cover you up so you don't have to you know, deal with a bunch of legal issues down the road, assuming that you're selling a lot of stuff. Um, it's just better to cover yourself legally. But um, overall, like if we go back to the homepage, overall, this is an awesome looking website. Um, you could definitely start selling right now. I would just work on those product descriptions and I would work on you know this, making sure that you flesh out these categories and stuff. Make sure that you actually have products for that, and if you don't, and you don't plan on having products for that, then just like ditch them. Don't don't have them on the, uh, you know, the actual uh, menu bar here. This is a really solid design of a website. Uh, just do those things that I talked about, and you should be should be good to go. Uh, let's go back here. So guys, hopefully, uh, or whoever this was, hopefully this is helpful for you. Uh, hopefully that you, you can implement these tips that I kind of talked about, and hopefully uh, you know helps you get some more sales as well. Guys, if anyone else wants a website review, I might do two more of these videos. So if you have a website that you want to review, go ahead and link it down in the description below um, and I'll check it out and hopefully I'll be able to do two more of these videos to uh, sort of help you guys out. Also, if you want a full in-depth like, um, you know, whole page review of your website, um, I do offer that. You can check out in uh, one of these links below. I'm not sure exactly which one, but it'll, it'll explain it pretty clearly. But you can actually get a website review from me. It's a whole page PDF uh, kind of detailing everything that I think that you should kind of do to maybe increase conversions, you know, all that kind of different stuff. So if you want that, link in the description below. They, um, they are not free. Unfortunately, I do have to charge for time, but um, they're you know, pretty affordable. So if you want that, link in the description. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also hit the like and notification bell so you can be notified as soon as I drop the next video, which we've been doing pretty consistently. So you're definitely going to want to because we're dropping some fire content and you're going to want to be notified as soon as we do that. So notification bell, subscribe, like, comment, and I will see you guys tomorrow.